Okay, hi, my name's Adair, and it is my great pleasure to join Prosper on the Online Prosperity Show. I am a Facebook specialist, and I teach people how to use Facebook for good and not evil. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show, and today we've got the Facebook specialist herself, Adair. Adair, how are you doing, my love? I'm all right, Prosper. How are you? Fantastic. Um, Good you stuff. know, everybody else in the audience there, I did, is on Facebook, but not a whole lot of them can Facebook, all right? So that's the reason why we've brought you the specialist in here, so that you can give us the nuts and bolts of what it actually entails to run a um, Facebook business page. And also judging from what people have said about you, that you are actually an amazing person that provides a fantastic service, who is passionate about helping others and has a deep knowledge of Facebook for business. Now, Facebook now has over 2.2 um, you know, billion subscribers actively logging in every single day. And at least two of those can be um, you know, um, our customers all can buy our products and services, but it's getting harder and harder to reach out to people every single day due to the changes in the algorithms and also the changes in the way people consume content on Facebook. So I'm hoping that we will be able to pull back the curtain a little bit so we can find out how we can be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable and also connect with our audiences through Facebook for business. Now, I'm not sure if I said any of that right there, Ade. You nailed it, Prosper. Absolutely nailed it. I'm nodding. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Great stuff. Great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, what you say is absolutely right. And there's a couple of things that are going through my mind. When, we, when you said about the 2.2 billion people on or 2 billion people on Facebook. It's the algorithms are changing. It's getting harder for us or for business people to, to, to sell products and services and to connect with people. Um, there's, there's all this stuff going through my mind because I actually think I've, I've got this, uh, there's this little saying that I have. It's uh, don't tell me no. And I hate double negatives. I'm going to write a book about that one day, but when, when someone says to me, you can't do this, I just go, watch me, because I'm going to find a way. Absolutely. And, and it has been my mission to, because that's all we hear is people just going, oh, it's all too hard. My reach on my hypnotherapy with a dare page dropped from 1.3 million this time last year, and now it's hovering at around about four to 6,000, depending on what so like seriously it just plummeted in, in in a year a lot less than a year it was probably the first six months of this year that it just it just went south completely and i'm just going oh my god i had so much i was getting organically maybe 30 or 40 likes a week just from the the reach the organic reach and now it's probably around about seven or eight likes a week, but which are, I mean, likes aren't everything, but it does show that people, you know, if you're not paying for likes, if you're getting organic likes, it shows that people are um, engaging in your page and they're, they're looking at your stuff and they're liking your stuff enough to like your page. So to have that bigger drop after enjoying over a million organic reach for quite some time, uh, and my page only had, about then, I think it was probably about three, it's got about four and a half thousand fans like it now. But back then, it was, you know, sort of maybe about three thousand, two and a half, three thousand. So, so it wasn't a huge page, but to have that kind of reach and those kind of likes. Now, I'm just thinking, wow, what can I do? Because, you know, most, most people I speak to, they just turn up their toes and just go, like, it's all too hard. Uh, some of them I've heard have gone, like, oh, that's it. I'm not using my business page. I'm going to use my personal profile and, you know, and sort of um, market myself that way. I actually, a couple of things come to mind there. And the first one is uh, use all of Facebook as a business tool. Don't use one or the other because there are, are people that go, oh, look, I want to use just my personal profile or just my business page and I don't want to have my personal profile um, linked to my business at all. Uh, and to that I say everywhere you go, there you are. Uh, so, you have, so you have to be 
a, you have to be present on Facebook. And if you're a masseuse or a healer, like I work with a lot of healers, uh, masseuses, Reiki healers, psychic mediums, that type of thing. If you are one of those, please, please, please do not use a lotus flower as your um, profile picture because I don't want to be massaged by a lotus flower. I want to get in touch and get to know a real person. So circling back to what I was saying about don't tell me no, what the big, the key thing here is, there's two things. One is collaboration, which means that we have to get out of our own little echo chamber and we have to increase that to, uh, to reach out and connect with key influences. And if we do it strategically, we can increase our influence and we, by helping other people increase their influence. So it's gone are the days where is this is my patch and this is my intellectual property and this is my knowledge and this is everything of mine. You're not getting it unless you pay me. That is the biggest crop of, can I say shit, I have ever heard <laughs> because it's like the, it, the world doesn't revolve around that anymore. It used to be like that, but it's not like that anymore. Now it is give, give as much as you possibly can. And in fact, I was listening to a... Um, a webinar or a uh, live broadcast, recording of a live, a replay of a live broadcast by Molly Mahoney and her host, uh, Coach Adam Avansky, just yesterday, and they were saying about connecting with influencers. And uh, and Gary was uh, sorry, Adam Avansky was saying it is about giving, 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 giving because it's you can. And then, then I think the argument was if we give so much. People won't pay us for what we know. The actual thing is people will pay you for organised knowledge. And there are some people who will take what you know and they'll say, thank you very much, this is all I need, and they'll go off and do it. And they go with my blessing too. But there are some people who want a higher level of support and encouragement and accountability and help with discipline to actually implement stuff. And I should have, no, I've got some things coming in, sorry about that. Um and, uh, and they might join they might join my, my group coaching, but there's other people who want to really have it applied, my knowledge applied to their business individually, and then they'll go, I want you to coach me individually. So there's all that whole ra range of people, and with 2.2 billion people out there, you will never, ever, 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 ever run out of people to talk to. If you throw crap at them, they'll run away. If you give them, if you figure out who you're speaking to, speak to one person, get your target profile nailed, there's actually, can I give Sean D'Souza a shout out? He's written a book called The Brain Audit. I used to do a target profile, which is a, um, uh, like a, oh my, how do you put it? Um, it was sort of like a wish list of a previous version of myself. And then I, I came across Sean D'Souza's work and I went, my God, this is awesome. And I actually picked a real person. I went through the process. I unpacked it. I interviewed this person. And I found that the things that I was assuming were the problematic for, because she's already a client of mine, uh, were, were not what were the problem was at all. So uh, it was a real eye opener for me. So if anyone, if, um, and less than 1% of entrepreneurs actually get their target profile done or their avatar, they don't, they just have this broad thing. And if I network marketers or direct salespeople, they go, um, Hey, I, I, sell, I sell skincare. I can sell to anyone with skin. Yeah. Like, how nuts is that? But, yeah, but seriously, as a hypnotherapist, I would go, um, I love to work with females who are in their late 40s, early 50s and 60s uh, who have particular issues around maybe things like smoking because, they, you know, they don't like the rip, lip wrinkles and, you know, like I can speak to their problems. Uh, a 20 year old male would have a different reason for wanting to give up smoking than what a 50 year old female would. So I can actually, I've chosen that as my target audience. Um, and that's who I speak to because that's who I sort of relate to, even though there's plenty of smokers out there that you could, I could target. I could just say, look, I work with all smokers. And in fact, I do. But when I'm crafting my messages, I only speak to that one person. The other thing, I did get a little bit off track. <laughs> the other thing is the, um, the, the micro-influencing. Now, this is a reasonably new concept, and I've heard this a couple of times. I've actually 
started to unpack it a little bit in my head and I'm about to write some stuff. I can feel some writing coming on that uh, micro-influencing is, I think we have a notion, and I know I certainly did when I started in this field, uh, studying as a hypnotherapist and then other, other hypnotherapists saying, how the hell are you getting all your clients? And I just said, well, just use my Facebook page. A little bit of offline advertising through community notice boards, but that was it, and I had a steady stream of clients coming through. And um, and that at that stage, I reckon my page, when I, like, I had maybe 50 or 100 likes on it when I started, and then there was one guy in particular, his name's Peter, shout out to Peter. He said, if uh, uh, I want to become a full-time hypnotherapist, he worked a nine-day fortnight, and he said, if I, if you, if I pay you, will you, can I come over to your place and you teach me what you do on Facebook uh, to get clients? And I said, yeah, for sure. So he came over once a fortnight, and, uh, and I figured, hey, if one person's happy to do that, maybe two are, and if two are, maybe four and four maybe six you know but I kept it at six because my dining room table is not that big so uh, I did that all of last year actually just sharing with uh, hypnotherapists and other people in similar industries uh, how to get uh, how to use Facebook to attract clients and in the process I learned so much and one of the stories I uh, could share with you was after one one session it was a Friday morning and I was showing people uh, how to determine who your ideal client is and then where to find them, how to connect with them, how to develop a relationship with them. And I actually did that live in, like, on my dining room table. I had about four or five people there. And no joke, I connected with two people. And by the next morning, one of them was actually in my consulting rooms as a client. That's how fast this happens if it's done right. It's amazing. Going back to micro-influencing, what you want to do is just influence, work on one person at a time, connect with one person at a time, build a relationship with one person at a time. As Mari Smith says, you can care at scale, but focus on one person at a time. So if you're doing live broadcasting, and that's another thing that you referred to earlier, if you're doing live broadcasting is one of the ways that, you know, the, the content, like 92%, I think in by 2019, 92% of people will be consuming all of their content via video. And Mary Meeker, Vice President of Marketing for Facebook, said in five years' time she doubts whether there'll be a static post on Facebook. So uh, they've released Facebook TV, Facebook Watch. Uh, so it's now if you are wanting to really get ahead of the pack, Two things, well, the micro-influencing is one person at a time and then that per then you can build it to 100, then 1,000. But if you have no more than 1,000 followers who are willing and wanting your service or your product, that's all you need, really. Absolutely. So, so the micro-influencing in that way, so that's, that's a tiny, tiny sliver of the market that you've just got to connect with. Um, and so the live, the live broadcasting is a way that you will find that the you can reach out to people like you could never, ever reach out before. Now, I'm terrified of speaking in public, and I hate... <laughs> you know, really? Did you, see that? did you see that look? Really? Mm. <laughs> I actually, I actually um, have spent a lifetime of living in fear of this, and most people would rather die than... You know, be, what they say, be in the coffin and give the eulogy. And that's that's true. But I know how terrifying it is. And I know when I started doing lives, I actually had to push myself to do it, uh, really push myself to do it. Uh, and it was something that I decided that, um, and, and I actually used hypnotherapy and NLP to help people move past that. So, you know, working with business people who are in that space to give them the confidence that they can actually get over themselves enough to be able to front up to the camera and say, hey, what the message I have is for you is more important than my self-conscious, you know, what I'm thinking about how I look or how I sound or whatever because that's what stops us and our fear of judgment of other people. So I do use hypnotherapy and NLP to help people move past that uh, and also uh, to help people who are in my uh, private membership group to get over the overwhelm and um, once they're over the overwhelm then they can then they can just get on with it because once you if you're so overwhelmed because this is the opportunities here are just so vast it's like drinking from a fire hose uh, 
But uh, for us, I think um, if we can just stop and just be calm about what we're doing and not have to panic because it's all so much, then there's some NLP techniques that we can use to do that. And there's also anchoring, which is an NLP technique to give confidence. So I can teach people a little bit about that to, to, to give yourself some, a boost of confidence if you're not feeling all that, you know, like confident about being in front of the camera. The other thing I wanted to mention, uh, I'm just saying, you're just looking at me, Fosbo, you know that, uh, I don't know if you're probably too young, with that cartoon where they, where they grab you by the hook and then you, <laughs> it's like, your time's up. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I don't know how long I've got, but I can talk forever on this, but I did really, really want to mention the biggest, like if you're not into chatbots, have you got your chatbots? on Facebook all hooked up and get running um, and coordinated with your live broadcast and your business page. So if, if you haven't, do it now. And if you if you need help, and I'm sure there's plenty of people out there, well, actually there's not plenty of people <coughs> out there that can help because I've been looking for people to train me or to help me figure out to do chatbots. Um, courses are insanely expensive and I actually ended up getting an intern from a local university who helped me work through it and we put together a user guide and, and now I've been doing some uh, tutorials on actually uh, doing chatbots. The amazing power of this right now is another way that we can reach out and connect with people in a way that's meaningful. And I've heard people say like chatbots, it's like artificial stuff and we don't, we want a real connections. If you do it right, it's like real connections. It's like building your email list and you can use that to build your email list as well. But it is really, really important to, um, to, to have a strategy to connect your, um, get your chatbots up and running on your business page and then connect it with your live broadcasting, but be strategic about it and have a 12 month plan. So, so people will say to me, I don't know what to do for lives. And I say, well, we'll just do a 12 months. What do you do? You know more than you know, like, if you did half an hour a week for 12 months, all you need to do is to pick, break what you do down into 12 topics. Here's a really practical tip about what people can do right now. So they get out their planner next year. Write down 12 things that they about their, their work that they do that they helps people. Uh, in that 12 topics, you can put them into subtopics, four subtopics for each week. And then in that, you can, you can find some uh, articles, you can talk to uh, other people, you can talk yourself, like I can talk, well, they're off and I'm hot, but you can do that right now and your content you could probably sit down and do it in an hour and your content for the next 12 months is done really 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 easy stuff <laughs> absolutely well <clears throat> with, with, with that said that will be the end of the show <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much for that time. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you so much for that profound um, answer. So I'm just going to really take you back right to the beginning of your answer <laughs> where you mentioned, because there's a whole big misdemeanor or misconception about um, should I approach Facebook as my own private profile or should I go in as a group um, or should I go in as, um, as, a, as a business page or should I go in as live or as a chatbot? Now you did... Um, you know, uh, answer that by putting in the curtain saying where you are is where you are, right? Um, but there's a lot of overwhelm. There's a lot of um, uncertainty. First of all, Facebook was free when it started. Now it's mm -hmm. the whole of the internet, you know? So it, 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 there is quite a lot of, you know, moving parts that need to be uh, organized there. What would you recommend that you know um people concentrate on or work on or actually really um utilize the most of their page uh, personal profiles or um their business profiles or groups okay now that's a loaded question because <laughs> i'll take a deep breath and off again i'll try and keep it short I've actually developed a concept called the House of Facebook. Now, this is something which is, uh, and I actually, how I did, I was meeting with a guy at a cafe and he was saying, I don't want to be my personal, uh, you know, I only want to be my business on Facebook and I don't want to have a personal profile. And then that's when I said, everywhere you go, there you are. But I grabbed a napkin and I drew like a top-down view of a house and I said, okay, can you imagine the house with a passageway that runs from the top to the bottom, you know, front to the back, 
The only way in and out of there is that that's your personal profile, the, the passageway. The rooms that hang off of that are your, your messenger room, your business page room, your groups room, your events room, your games room. Though you really don't want to spend a lot of time in the games room if you want to have a business on Facebook. And on the back veranda are 5,000 friends. Or if you were like me when I started, 263 friends. And I think I was related to 260 of them. So, <laughs> But you can have a maximum of 5,000 people on your back veranda or in your friends list. So having it as a concept, as a whole house, um, as Facebook as a house or a mansion now, you can use it, all of it strategically. So you can take a helicopter view Rather than, oh, one thing about that is you won't see any news feed in that house because the news feed runs outside the front door like an information superhighway that just goes past it. I think it's, what, 15,000 potential posts, every single post that you see, there's another 14,999 posts that you could see. So the algorithms. So you just go, if you're running a business, you've got no, no reason to be in the news feed. None, because that will take your time. That's I didn't say that out loud, did I? My 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 mum said, "Did you see that on Facebook?" And I go, "I'm not on Facebook." And she goes, "What? You're kidding!" <laughs> what I do is I'm strategic about where I go and what I do, and I've developed a pro forma that actually says, like, if you're um, you, you're doing some of your normal stuff on like your day to day stuff, I go walking, I do weights. I go up into the hills, I take photos of koalas and stuff like that. I put it on my profile. Uh, I do my lives on my business page and, you know, sort of keep them the same but separate. And then I share them across to my profile. I make sure the people I connect with are people that I want to do business with. So if I have random people that don't want to see my stuff that I do, then I'm, I'm, can, I'm mixing with the wrong crowd there. 2.2 billion people there, there's got to be a few people or at least 5,000 that are going to love what I have to offer. And if my mum doesn't like it, well, then I'll just unfriend her. I'll put her in a secret group and then I'll just I'll just unfriend her and just feed her stuff about the family that she wants to see. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Absolutely. So you Facebook do... is a business tool. Great. It, yes, right. Now, you <laughs> do... Um, I like the metaphor or the analogy that you put across as um you know the facebook house so would it be safe to say i will build my house and then they will come they are already there you've just got to work out what furniture they like to sit on <laughs> <laughs> i like oh what snacks they like to eat on nibble on right that's exactly exactly what 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 do you want so if you're you know if you're working in groups and and what i would suggest is if you're in groups do so you can go, you're on your page, you can spend a little time. You only need 15, 20 minutes a day, but consistency. If you leave for a week and then go back, um, one of the big things I've found is business people just neglect their inboxes on their business pages. They, I might send a message and they will get back to me three weeks later. Um, and I used to do that too, but I don't do it anymore. The, the thing is to be consistent, but if you pick three or four groups that you know, like if you start your own group, be in there regularly, but if you have other groups where you can be seen as a thought leader, do it strategically, work out who your influencers are, who's got the networks that you can leverage from, and and just be of value. Just add value. Absolutely. <laughs> and so you did mention... Have fun with it. Yep, you did mention a little bit earlier on, um, you know, taking off, off where you just left off right now about giving value. You did mention earlier on giving, giving, giving as a strategy yes. to be on yeah. Facebook. And you did say back in the time, you know, there used to be a curtain and you had to pay to enter or you have for me to say or to give you more information, you had to pay me to open up my mouth. But nowadays information is now commoditized. You can just Google anything. So the more yeah. you give, the more it's going to, um, you know, get you closer to your audience. Now, isn't that going to take up much of my time, um, you know, as an entrepreneur or as a business owner, uh, sitting there just giving people, yet there's 15 other, you know, posts they could be sitting on. What would make 
you know, what would make it really relevant to my audience, um, you know, if I'm just giving and maybe they're not going to reciprocate that? Not quite sure I'm understanding what you mean there, Prosper. So, okay. you so got to run that by me again. All right. No, you're right. So, you did say people should give, give, give. Can you just explain yes. that a little bit? Because if I give off all of my content, then what else is there? Okay. The thing I, I figured with this is that you can give, um, you can give your content, but how you do it, like I've, I've been just talking here for probably the last 15 minutes nonstop. And what I have given you is I've written a book. It's called Breaking the Facebook Code, 10 Steps to Getting Customers. I've got, that's an ebook, and I've got a big book coming out because it's like, it's huge. This one's called Unlocking the Facebook Code. Um, but the thing with that is it's organized knowledge. And so I've been talking to you about my ideas and the things that I'm doing and the, the, the approach that I'm taking. And I'm giving a lot, like giving the idea of doing a 12-month calendar with your live content, that type of thing. And you can use the same with your static posts. It doesn't matter. But to have that in a, com a complete package where it's all strategized and it's all part of your ultimate business goals, you, you actually, some people can do that themselves and other people go, well, look, I really could use a hand with this because it's, although I'm giving freely of what I know, um, the package itself is, it, it's, you know, it's it's parts of the package, and I might, it's over time, give all of the package. But to have a it in an orderly, order, orderly, coordinated way, uh, is that's actually what happens in my private membership groups. So I've got a course that's starting Monday. It's called Accelerate Your Business Page, and that's a seven day course. And it's I send out one video a more uh, every day. 10 minute video with a, a challenge, something for specific for people to do. And there's a group where they can be accountable. So uh, they can network, they can form a community. So the value in that is far greater than um, they, I use this type of the live videos. If people ask me questions live, I will answer them. But it's, it's in a unstructured and a, um, um, it's it's not in a planned, organised way, if that makes sense. Because people will ask me questions and it might be, so they might be saying, well, how do you do Facebook ads? And I like to say, well, how long is that piece of string? So, <laughs> but if, I, if I, I might be able to say, go and use your audience insights to find out who your you know, audience are and where, what they look like, what the demographics are, what their interests are. But then coming into my course and looking at that from go to woe in terms of creating a campaign and putting ad sets together, that type of thing is a whole different ball game. So I'm not holding anything back, but I'm not actually, you know, there's, there's the time and the place for that coordinated approach and that organized approach is in the membership area. Absolutely, Sorry. because because people might yeah. just get the information from you, but then they might also just want you to do um, you know part of the service for you. So there's no loss yeah. incurred there by giving out off of your information. And um, like you had mentioned earlier, we really do value um, you know your presence on this show right now. And um, for those that are watching right now, you would um, appreciate the fact that we have. Um, you know, experts like Adair that are giving off of their time um, and, you know, availing you with all the information that you too can be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Adair, you teach uh, small business owners to understand the power of Facebook and you help them break the cord, um, you know, uh, that will let them to more success. Now, if somebody is sitting at the edge of their seat right now and really wanting to get um, closer to, you know, reaching their audience as well using the power of Facebook. What's the best way that people can get a hold of you? The best way is on my business page. It's called Social Media for Small Biz Owners and send me a message. Because you send me a message, you'll immediately get a, the chat bot will fire up 
and it will ask you if you would like a copy of the guide, a free copy of that, uh, 10 Steps, Breaking the Facebook Code, 10 Steps to Getting Customers. And then it will also ask you if you want to join our community. And I've got a community which is nearly 2,000 strong now, and that is called Facebook for Spiritual Entrepreneurs and Not-for-Profits. So, uh, and then it's uh, also asked if you would like to be reminded, I have a program on at 9.30 Australian Central Daylight Time every Friday morning called Friday Facebook Fix. And that's where I do live broadcasts and I uh, invite people to um, ask me anything. I'll answer any questions on the spot. If I don't know the answer, then I will make it up. <laughs> if I don't know the answer, I'll find it out. Um, but uh, uh, I do invite lots and lots of interaction there and every Friday. In fact, from uh, this Friday or from today uh, through till Christmas, I'm actually giving away free live health checks. I've developed a health check tool for a business page. So it's actually you can, it's a, a tick and flick that you can look at to um, look at your business page and look at this um this tool and you can see what you're doing really, really well on your business page and then you can see what you can improve straight away. So from now until Christmas, I'm devoting my Friday Facebook fix to helping small businesses. There'll be one each week that and actually doing a live health check on the, their business page. It will be a random one that's picked from the viewers that are there during the, um, the broadcast. And uh, and then they will. That's that's normally if I do that for people, that's one hundred and ninety seven dollars. So to do that, um, that to review their business page. So this is something I'm offering as a Christmas gift for um, for businesses. So yeah. So connecting with me through my messenger on my business page is the best way. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we did mention a, a little bit earlier on, there's a lot of, you know, moving parts on Facebook and you have, you know, put it in a, in a really nice way that just built it as if it's a house. What sort of last minute or, I mean, last um, words would you have for our audience there, um, you know, when they're faced with the, you know, the, 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 the animal that's Facebook in front of them, <laughs> a dark eyed curl into a ball or... Just scream and yell for help or what you need. I guess the, the first thing I would say in my best NLP tone of voice and language is to breathe. <laughs> and when you get that feeling of panic and overwhelm coming up, you can feel it bubbling up through your, your stomach and into your chest and up, you know, and it seizes up your throat. When you start to feel like that, just just again, breathe, take a deep breath and just go and go and then go, Adair has given me permission to panic only when I have done everything in my power to do everything that she tells me or that people suggest that I do on Facebook and I still haven't got any clients. That's when I have permission to panic. Otherwise, I'm just going to get so damn excited because there is you could there's so much to do. You will never ever ever stop exploring. You'll never ever stop finding new um, new nooks and crannies and new ways and new means and new methods and new people. There is so so much to get excited about. So when you do start to feel that, just go okay. I've got permission to panic but only after I've done all of this stuff, then I can. Until then, I'm going to get excited. Absolutely. And I'm going to be really excited because it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Because um, obviously if people do take you up on the offer of your health check, you will be definitely helping them, you know, um, get traffic coming through from the social media. Because as we all know, increased traffic can actually... Um, you know, mean increased subscribers, right? And yes. to your product, to your service, um, a lot of your own lead generation would come through from social media. Like we've said, there's over 2.2 billion people, at least one mm -hmm. of those people who would want to pay you money for your goods and services, right? So yes. that would lead to a great conversion, business growth. And you can also have, um, you know, people reaching out to you to join venture and help 
um, and, 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 yeah. and if your products are sort of corresponding to what they sell, they might also want to be a part of, um, you know, your, your sales structure so that you guys can have, you know, affiliate opportunities mm-hmm. together and also maybe some sort of other media attention that might come your way. There's a lot of people studying podcasts, videos like this mm-hmm. that we're creating. And if your Facebook and your, um, you know, message is, is, is clear enough, people will reach out and say, can we have a couple of minutes uh, so that we can hear off your expertise? Just like what I did with Adair here. And um, yeah. this could be you too uh, on the channel. So if you have, you know, had value in this show, thank Adair by visiting her website. And also just, if you've got any questions, please type them in the comment section below. And also let us know um, what you've done after you've used uh, Adair's checklist, um, you know, for your uh, page right there. Now, obviously we've taken up much of your time there and I can't thank you enough, um, you know, for the knowledge that you've given us, the expertise that you've dropped on this show today. And I'm really, really hoping that those that are watching right now will jump across and, um, you know, learn from you and also pick up a copy of your book. Is this book on Amazon now? Uh, breaking the Facebook code? It's, it's actually a free downloadable at the moment. Oh. Uh, the, the big book is in its first draft. So I've just got this out because it's, it really does lay out the 10 steps to uh, getting clients or customers. They can download it for free. That's the abridged version, which has got the, uh, the 10 steps in it and uh, at the, the big book is it, it's coming out it's getting there <laughs> absolutely absolutely yeah. well so it's written it's just a matter of uh, refining it and getting it published so um, but that is actually you can you can actually grab a copy of that and if you're on my business page social media for small biz owners that's b-i-z owners social media for small biz owners um it, it is, if you look in the menu under the, and I don't know if you're on mobile, because most people are on mobile these days, and it's actually, you, I don't know if you can download it by mobile, but uh, if you're on desktop or um, laptop, you can just download it. Just click on the column, the right-hand side column, left-hand, the other right, the left-hand side column uh, under the menu, and it's just, I think, the second one at the top. It just says, you grab your free guide, um, health check, or your free health health check for your biz page so that's uh, freely available if people subscribe if they just send me a message on messenger on my page you'll automatically get a link to that so that's Uh, just the easiest way yeah absolutely the power of technology you don't even have to be there they automatically get that and you can also learn how you can do that for your business um you know by simply reaching out to Adair and she can help you well thank you so much Adair for your time on this show today you're welcome. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Great. All right.